Canada's Prime Minister is surrounded by Titan security this morning because of the terror attack in Ottawa. We're learning more about the man who killed a Canadian soldier and then attacked the Houses of Parliament. Jim Axelrod is in Ottawa, where a city and a nation are still grieving. Jim, good morning. Good morning. You can see behind me this sort of makeshift memorial that has sprung up for Nathan Cirillo, the reservist who was shot and killed here Wednesday while he stood watch at Canada's war memorial. And this morning we're learning new details about the gunman Michael Zahaf Bibo, who police now say was acting alone. Surveillance footage from the morning of the attack shows the gunman running with his rifle as he makes his way to Parliament. We are learning more about the 32-year-old Muslim convert who opened fire in Canada's capital. Busted for robbery in British Columbia in 2011, court documents obtained by CBS News paint a picture of a man hoping to be locked away. Speaking during his court hearing, Zahaf Bibo said, quote, I want to do another robbery just so I could come to jail. Adding, I warned them, referring to the Canadian police, if you can't keep me, I'm going to do something just to be put in. He was sentenced to 67 days in jail for the 2011 robbery and for the last two weeks had been living in this men's shelter in Ottawa. He was in town to deal with a passport issue, but then he was also hoping to leave for Syria. Kevin Vickers, the heroic sergeant at arms who chased down and shot the gunman, was back in his role yesterday leading the procession that opens every session of parliament. A 29-year veteran of the Royal Canadian Mounted Police, he did his best to hold back his emotions, offering only a head nod as he was greeted with a standing ovation. <laughs> Following Wednesday's deadly attack, lawmakers were back to work Thursday, unwilling to be intimidated by what they called an act of terror. Here we are, in our seats, in our chamber, in the very heart of our democracy and our work. <laughs> About that passport issue you just heard reference, Zahaf Bibo's passport had not been renewed, and a law enforcement official tells CBS News this morning that's because Zahaf Bibo had developed an internet connection with a radicalized Canadian living in Syria, prompting concerns about Zahaf Bibo's potential travel. Nora? Oh, really interesting, Jim. Thank you so much.